Oh boy, those past couple of weeks have been really rough on Evitals. They are all down. Well, maybe except for vertical aerospace, which is still around $10. But that's not so much because investors like this stock, but rather because it is still a SPAC. So it's not going to be traded a lot lower than $10. And the turmoil in the markets in the past three business days surely did not help either. In this video, we'll take a look at the charts of Lilium, Jabi, Archer and Vertical Aerospace. And we'll try to answer the question of what the midterm price action of these companies may look like. All right, so let's start with Lilium. If you've seen my previous video in which I analyzed the Lilium chart, you probably remember me talking about this uh, support area between around $8 and $8.50. And I said that uh, there seem to be quite a few buyers at this area because the stock bounced off of this area a number of times. And I said that uh, the buyers would have to defend this area. Now, in that video, I did say that the chart does not look good and uh, that I think that the price will go lower. Yeah, that's that's what happened eventually. You see in November, you see in November there was a struggle between sellers and buyers. Buyers did try to defend this area, but to no avail. Eventually supply exceeded demand and uh, the price plummeted. By the way, I should have mentioned that in the beginning. We are currently looking at the daily chart. At the time of the recording of this video, the stock price is $6.68. Now you probably wonder how low can the price go? And it's a very tricky question to answer because Lilium has never traded at such low prices. Essentially, we do not have historic bottom. I am generally of the view that the weak stock, and this is a weak stock because look at the chart. It's a very weak chart. So a weak stock can technically go lower. It doesn't mean that it will, but it sure can. Ultimately, the market will decide how low the stock will go. Now, I know it's not very helpful for those of you who's watching this video, but I do not have a crystal ball. I will say this, that I will not be buying dips. Not yet. First, I need to see some basing. I need to see the stock making a base around a certain level. Only then I will consider buying the dip. Now, if we take a look at the RSI, we do see that it is getting into the oversold territory. However, that does not to say that it will bounce from here. It can still go lower. It can continue to bleed. So again, I would like to see some kind of basing. And a good example is Archer. Yeah, Archer is not doing good either, but it seems to be basing around the $6 level. So that is something that I would like to see Lilium do eventually. Build a base and then slowly start grinding up from that base. Now Archer hit almost $5 before it bounced back and then retraced lower and ultimately started to base around the $6 level. If Archer is any indication of what Lilium price action might be, well, then the downward pressure is not over just yet. If we look at the RSI of Archer, we see that it was in the oversold area for a quite a long period of time, for almost two weeks, as it was bleeding. So technically, it can happen to Lilium as well. Jabi does not look much better. The price is $7.31. I did speak about this demand area in the previous video in which I analyzed Jabi chart. Same as Lilium, I did say that the buyers will need to defend this area. They were able to defend this area back in September. And in uh, late November, they seem to be able to defend it. But mm, today, the, the price just slides through this area. Jabi is making new lows. The chart is weak. So I cannot exclude the possibility of lower lows in the near future. Ultimately, the price action will depend on the market sentiment. If the market continues to sell off, if it all stocks will continue to bleed. And remember, past support 
becomes resistance. So this support area will become a resistance area once the price starts to go up. Now let's take a quick look at vertical error space. So it is still a SPAC. Business combination has not concluded yet. And that is why the, the price hasn't been impacted by the market sell-off that much. The stock currently traded at $9.93. So technically there is an arbitrage opportunity here. You can buy shares of, of the SPAC that uh, Vertical Airspace is planning to merge with. You can buy it at $9.93. And you can redeem your shares for $10 plus interest. I mean, if you're interested, you can take advantage of that uh, arbitrage opportunity and make like, well, 10 cents, I guess, per share. Now, I don't believe that the date for business combination has been set yet. So just take that into account because you may be holding on to your shares for quite a long time until you are allowed to redeem your shares for for their dollar value. So yeah, I don't expect this pack to drop a lot lower because of that arbitrage opportunity. If, if it does end up dropping a lot to like $9, which I think it's highly unlikely, uh, I will be buying shares because that's, that is like 11% return right there, risk-free. So um, yeah, just something to be aware of and keep an eye on. To sum it up, in the short term, I don't expect the price to rebound for any of the EVTOL companies. In the medium and long term, the price, of course, will depend on the ability of the companies to execute on their business plan. If you are a long-term investor and you're bullish on any of these EVTOL companies, then maybe now is a good time to invest. But just remember that the price is likely to remain depressed for months if not years to come all right that concludes my video in the comments down below let me know what do you plan to do are you buying are you selling are you holding the price is dropping so that tells me that a lot of you are selling but hey you need to do what's right for you you need to manage your capital and your investments the way you see fit all right well uh, feel free to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Ciao.